All right, let's see if I can actually do another motor vlog. Let's do it. It will be my first official motor vlog, I think. All right, so let's start. I want to tell you guys about a story when I went to uh, down over there. It's called a place called Hamas. And it was when I went on the Hamas cruise. That thing was fucking awesome. I uh, went on this baby right here. Had my GoPro and everything. It's not that they have a mic set up. So that's why I don't really want to post it. Bye, Ola. Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight Dripping lights paint the sky I'll tell you about it. Instead, I went down though, and I didn't know anybody who else was alive. So I just went down though, thinking that other motorcyclists would go. And it was kind of chill, like other motorcyclists were there, so I was kind of happy, kind of tick not ticked off. But it was kind of cool. They put us like in four, so we would be in fourth in line. But the thing that ticked me off was because uh, they made some of the other cars go in fourth. Hey, don't put that seat in your butthole, Paul. So about that, um, yeah, I just want to like talk about it because right now this STMM is going on down in Texas and I want to go but I couldn't. So about the Hamas cruise, so I went down though, didn't know a single person. So uh, honestly I love cars so I was just like walking around like it was a car show at the beginning. And uh, then like all of a sudden a lot of cars were there and then all of a sudden people left early. I'm like, well that's kind of fucked up. I'm supposed to go as a crude, not as a fucking race. So of course I was like filming people that were recording that stuff, which is pretty cool. I uh, joined and of course I waited until like it was official to go. Actually no, I didn't. I left early because like everybody was fucking lazy. So I left and uh, I just followed some other motorcyclists and just tag along with them and that's one thing I love about motorcycles like you can tag along with somebody and they'll be okay with it so um well I was like with a couple of different motorcyclists at the time like I was like with this one guy and he pulled over and then all of a sudden a lot of guys took off and he stayed down I'm like I want to go with those other guys so I band and we gotta go so I was doing that and I joined up with the other guys and we were just cruised along and that's a fucking nice car that was all And uh, yeah, so there was all these cars just cruising and it's just awesome, man. And then we went up to the Hamas, which is a beautiful road. A beautiful. And so we went to, uh, just like I said, a Hamas cruise. Um, but before we went on the road, uh, the two guys stopped and I asked them if I could join them. And they're like, yeah. So I joined them and they were really cool. Uh, uh, both, uh, and then like another guy joined us. And he was my age, so it was kind of cool, and the other guys were kind of old all, but they were experienced. Sounds naughty. Um, but yeah, it was really awesome, man. So, um, we all joined up, we met at that one road, and then we started just riding through, uh, riding. But here's the thing, there was so many fucking cars, and the Hamas cruise was just one fucking road. Like, one lane, and that's it. And it was, it was really cool. I liked it. More about the Hamas cruise. Um, 
So yeah, I met up with those guys. Had an awesome time. Like, but the road was just so small that I, like, and so many cars that it was just a dead stop. Like, fast as you went on that road was two miles per hour. Seems like. Like it was fun, but yeah, then uh, the first stop was at a little place to eat at, and the cool thing is motorcycles got parked right in front. So that's what happened, I parked right in front, ate with the guys, and then the other stop was like up in this like dirt road, but it goes through all this cool scenery. But we didn't stop though because we wanted to ride the Hamas. Nonsense. Which is a really cool road, but here's where things get shitty, but get, stuff gets really fucking interesting really fucking fast. So the first thing that happened was one of the guys we were with, he uh, we were out in the mid, uh, like, uh, like leaving the restaurant, and I was behind him, and he just does this fucking fat ass born out. Like completely huge. Sadly, he did it right in front of a cop. He got pulled over, and we waited on him. And now the thing that got like, like interesting was he used to start taking a really long time. We were fucking scared. So uh, he finally got out and uh, he got a fucking hell of a ticket. It has going. But the thing that really is stupid was he doesn't have an endorsement, so he doesn't have a motorcycle license. So um, yeah. So the guy says, okay, I would t call in a tow truck and get this bike towed, but. I can't call one in because it's just too goddamn busy. So he got away with it and got to drive out, which is fucking awesome. But yeah, like, it was just... And it just gets more interesting from there. And remember, at this time, I was a new idol. Didn't really know what to, how to idol or anything like that. I was just, like, learning at the time. And it was, like, really cringy, like, riding. And, like, I was a, I was a new, but, like... Hardcore move. So, uh, riding in the Hamas Mountains was well, a huge step up from what I was doing. Like, seriously, nice turns, everything. And I made a ton of mistakes. Like, a shit ton of mistakes. First thing I did was, like, I didn't know how to lean and actually get into a turn really good. So, that's what the first thing I messed up at is, like, that shit. I was crossing these double yellow lines, all that stuff that Holly did. Um, just kidding, love you, Holly. Um, yeah. So, like, there was multiple times where I got, like, close call into a wall. But I, I just kept slow, was at the back of the pack, and just did everything like that. Now, Halfway through, my camera died, and we couldn't continue to ride. I didn't want to pull over, and I made them pull over. So what I did was, um, well, not what I did. What somebody did was accidentally, uh, he, I guess he was a new rider too. He didn't go, uh, turn, like, imagine the tone is like this, like, went like this. And, uh, he went to turn, but kind of, like, got, I guess, scaled, and, like, backed out, and straightened up. But it was still turning, but he couldn't make it. So what he did was just grind it against the guardrail. And he did that for a pretty long time. I was expecting his leg to be cut the fuck up. But no, his leg was completely fine. Only thing that happened was a little bit scratches on his thigh. That's it. And here's the other thing. Like at the time, I didn't know where we were going. Like I was just following these guys. This is my first time riding. And um... Yeah, so I was riding with them, and I didn't know at the time that we were heading to Santa Fe. Now, I, like, remember this, um, I was like in Albuquerque, and then we are going all the way to Santa Fe. And I'm a new rider, so that to me is a pretty far distance. So doing that, um, I don't know, it was just a lot of work for me, it just... Like, that happened, and like, so we finally made it to like, Santa Fe, we drove around, and then we left Santa Fe. We went on the big highway all the way back. Now, this was another false thing for me, <coughs> was being on a highway. And I'm with a 
group of guys that had like really fast bikes. Like I believe all of them had like a thousand, thousand cc little bikes. I'm gonna throw them here, I'm sorry. Um, so all of them like could go fast. Now I have a 600. I could go fast, but I'm gonna ride all. And it was a very windy day too. So um, I try to keep up. They were going about a. Uh, no, for the full section, I was keeping up because they were going nice and kind of like so, like around like 90 or something like that. And I was like getting pushed around by all this fucking wind. And all of a sudden, <clears throat> two of the guys went and uh, took the exit. Like when we we're going like fast down the highway. Ah, oh, shit, I need to scratch my eye. But um, here's the thing. Uh, the other biker stopped and was in the middle lane of the highway. It was like a three, a three lane highway. And uh, <clears throat> so I knew I wasn't going to take that exit. I was going to fucking go to the left and just continue going and hopefully I could find my way back. The time that I fucking shit myself was when I almost crashed into the uh, third guy who was still on the third, uh, middle uh, lane of the highway because he slowed down and went to turn uh, to take the exit so I was heading towards him at 90 miles per hour when he was going 20 I believe I don't know like the exact uh, exact and that could be a little bit exaggerating but I fucking locked up the back brakes I had them locked for a good amount of time and I just remember having my handlebars this way and the bike went this way. And it was fucking scary, man. Like, I couldn't believe it. So, um, yeah, I was pretty fucking scared. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it was fun. But uh, after that, they all good to go, uh, good up again and started going again. So, um, I was like, okay, I almost killed one of you guys, I'm sorry, but, and we just continued on. And, uh, then, then, that's when they finally took the highway a little bit too fast for me. And the winds were fucking awful. So I was getting pushed left to right, I was fucking full on leaning to stay in my fucking lane. And passing fucking samurais, all this fucking crazy shit. And oh my god, it was just a like hell. It was just hell. But finally, uh, they finally, I decided not to follow them and just take it slow. And they went all fast. So yeah, then they finally just took off. I think they were doing like a hundred or something. I couldn't keep up. I, I just took my loss and was like, fuck it, you know? So yeah, that was the time I went to the Hamas Cruise, which I made a shit ton of mistakes. I'm glad, I'm looking forward to the one next year, uh, this year. Mainly because I can actually fucking do it and actually be okay, but I don't know, I'm planning on going up to the Hamas soon.